Hey guys, Francis here with The Brim Factor. So a while ago, I did a video where I talked about how to import passwords from any browser into your Opera browser. And a lot of people found this video very helpful. You can see all of the comments, people saying thank you that it worked for them. I was very happy because I was helping people, yeah. <laughs> Only for me to get this comment from Ennis a few days ago saying that he cannot find the password import option on the experiments page anymore. And I thought, hey man, dude, it has to be there. I, I actually replied and said, I'm not sure why you can't find it. It's there on the Opera browser, check. And in my head, I'm like, dude, check, you know? So I didn't actually take any seriously. I felt like maybe it was just him not looking or not doing it properly or something. But somebody actually confirmed and said, I can't find it either. And Ennis, I'm sorry that I didn't take you seriously at first, but really sometimes you, it takes two to confirm, you know? When two people see something and say it's a snake, it's definitely not a belt. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I had to take the second comment for me to realize something is actually wrong. And true to their words, I went to my passwords under settings and clicked the three dots icon here and I have only export passwords. I used to have import and export because I had this enabled from the experiments page. So I went to the experiments page and sure enough, if you search, do a search for import, there is nothing. If we check export, there is also nothing, which means they've taken this feature down from the experiments page. This may not be the case for everybody, depending on your location. Most of the time they roll out these updates based on location, you know, so some locations may still have some features enabled while some other people may not. So check, depending on your region, wherever you are, you might still have this because this is the easiest way for you to actually do the import and export passwords thing. But if you are not lucky and you've checked and you don't have this feature still present in your experiments, then I have a workaround for you. To be very honest, it's actually perversely counterintuitive, but it's better than you trying to do the whole thing manually so stick with me follow through and you're going to be able to do this very easily at the end of the video so let's dive right into it so the first thing you want to do is know for sure your installation path your opera browser installation path and to do this um, you just use the link i'm going to um, leave all of the links in the description the link is actually this one here yeah so just copy that into your browser and it's going to take you to this page where you're going to see your Opera version and all of that stuff. So this is my installation path. So I'm going to copy that and let me just put that somewhere here. Going to need that later, yeah? So once you have your installation path, go to your task manager. Um, you can use the Windows and X key to pull up this menu. Go to your task manager and make sure that you kill all Opera tasks that are running in the background. So um, right click and end task scroll through to make sure that everything that's opera related is actually shut down the next step is for you to open up command prompt command key and arrow and then type in cmd however you want to there are so many ways to get to these things well once you're here um, you want to type in this command exactly this command but the only thing is make sure that you replace the file path now watch what i'm doing so this is my file path i got from using the the first link so i want to replace all of this let me bring this up here so you see what I'm doing. So this is the command we want to want to impute, but you want to replace all of this from Opera. Just replace that with the file path. We have this now. And then once you do that, copy this command, drop it into your command prompt and then hit enter. This is going to relaunch Opera. If you go to the settings page, click on the three dots icon and you can see that you have import showing up once again click on the imports um, i'm assuming that you've already exported your, your csv file maybe from chrome or somewhere just like i have here it's going to populate your password list with the exported uh, password your csv file that you have and you don't have to do all of that manually so that's how you do that to get your imports back i hope this video helps you guys once again Ennis, please i'm sorry i didn't take you seriously at first but right now i hope that this can help you fix the problem yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.